Hi everyone, if you are thinking of raising dairy goats for profit, and you want to know the best breeds known for producing the highest yield of milk, here are the Milky Marvels, ranking the top 5 dairy goat breeds by milk production. Keep watching to see which dairy goat is the top milk producer. Coming in at number 5, is the Seinen Goat. The Seinen is a large breed of dairy goat known for its high milk production, with an average yield of 2 to 3 gallons per day. They are white or light cream in color and have upright ears. Their milk is high in protein, making it ideal for cheese production. Number 4. The Oberhasli Goat. This breed is known for its high milk production and good butterfat content. They have distinctive dark brown coloration and are known for their docile temperament, with an average yield of 2 to 3 gallons per day. Number 3. The La Mancha Goat. The La Mancha is a medium-sized breed of dairy goat known for its high milk production, with an average yield of 2 to 4 gallons per day. They are recognizable by their small ears, which can be gopher or elf ears. Their milk is high in butterfat, making it ideal for cheese and butter production. Number 2. The Alpine. The Alpine is a medium-sized breed of dairy goat known for its hardiness and high milk production, with an average yield of 2 to 4 gallons per day. They have a straight profile and upright ears. Their milk is high in protein, making it ideal for cheese production. So if you are interested in a goat cheese operation this could be the dairy goat of your choice. And last but not least. The top milky marvel is. The Nubian. The Nubian is a large breed known for its high milk production, with an average yield of 3 to 5 gallons per day. They have long, floppy ears and a distinctive Roman nose. They come in many colors, but are most seen in white, caramel, and mixed. Their milk is high in butterfat, making it ideal for cheese and butter production. Please note that these are average milk yields and individual goats may produce more or less milk based on various factors such as genetics, feed, and management practices.